The new iPad mini features the A15 Bionic, and according to benchmarks, the A15 Bionic is more powerful than, than the unreleased Snapdragon 898 and more powerful than the Exynos 2100. But Apple, why do you keep doing this? to us. Hey guys, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. If you wanna debate, argue, and talk about this stuff, Discord or Twitter is the best place to do so. And I like to share tech news on Instagram. Links for all that in the description. The A15 Bionic chip is Apple's newest five nanometer silicone, loosely based on something kind of similar to what we have in the M1 iMac chip and the chip that powers my computer. And I just wanna get this out of the way. I am not an Apple fanboy. I'm not a Xiaomi fanboy. Well, I used to be a Xiaomi fanboy. Now I use a Samsung device. I have a Xiaomi tablet. I have an Apple computer and I have 25 different pairs of headphones from different companies. No company pays me. And I don't need to be called a fanboy because I respect what another company is doing in the tech space. So I just wanna put that out there. I have been using the eight inch tablet form factor for a while. I had a Nexus 8, Nexus 9, Nexus, the Nexus tablet. I had the second version of the Nexus tablet. I have had this Mi Pad 4 now for almost three and a half years. And I like this form factor for a variety of reasons. But the iPad mini, the newest one, is in my opinion, one of the best like form factor meets portability meets power that we're gonna have on the market, okay? It's got Apple support for the new pencil and in, they finally gave it USB type C, which means that we'll be able to do HDMI out, which is awesome because the Apple A15 chip is so powerful and being able to edit 4K video on it, being able to import and use it for uh, photo editing on the go, being able to use the iPad as like a hub to back up files, being able to use it as a viewfinder when flying a drone. There's tons of uses and there's tons of reasons that I would love to get an iPad mini, but it comes down to the fact that Apple is not giving the true value of their iPads to the consumer. And I don't care for what, I, I, the, the reason that people keep coming back to this, just, it, it's so mind boggling frustrating because with the iPad, when you plug it in via HDMI, it still gives you the aspect ratio of the iPad screen. It just mirrors the iPad screen. I'm not asking for a Samsung DeX experience. And by the way, I have a whole series of videos about just using Samsung DeX to edit photos, edit video. I'm gonna be doing a whole YouTube setup, mobile filmmaking tutorial. I just got a microphone in the mail uh, and a mobile filmmaking kit. And I can use my Galaxy S20 FE as a computer with DeX. Subscribe for that video because you could basically start a YouTube channel with everything that you need to edit and to shoot for like 700 bucks, including computer and camera and microphone and monitor and stand and all that stuff. Back to the iPad video. But if Apple really cares about the iPad just going to the next level and taking off and literally shitting all over the competition from Android, then it would just give users not even a dedicated desktop mode, in iPad OS, just screen aspect scaling that would allow us to dock our iPad and have a full screen experience that doesn't have huge black bars on each side, because that's what you have right now if you plug in your iPad. Because the only other company offering any kind of competition for that is Huawei, RIP Huawei and Samsung, and Samsung is doing it way better. Xiaomi, Xiaomi is just literally selling you a big phone with USB 2.0. You can't plug an HDMI adapter into your Xiaomi tablet, right? And the Xiaomi tablets aren't even close to as powerful as the Apple tablets, just because of the A15 versus Snapdragon 865 thing. That's just how it is, but 
If you never needed to plug your iPad in, then the iPad is a great option. But because Apple is a closed ecosystem and Apple has the ability to ask developers to do this, Apple could just flip a switch, tell developers that you're gonna be able to do HDMI out, make the aspect ratio, it's a scalable thing. And now you're able to legitimately replace your computer hardware with Apple iPad hardware, come home, dock your iPad, use it on a monitor. Maybe the experience isn't amazing. Maybe you have to use your iPad as a touchpad, but at least you're able to get the most out of your computing dollar. Because right now, the only company that's doing that is Samsung. Because Samsung allows you to leverage that computational horsepower on any screen. They encourage you to do that. And that's just, that's why Samsung, in my opinion, is making the best value devices. That's it. Because we are living in the future and my computer can fit in my pocket. And there's no reason for millions of people to go out and buy a separate computing unit when a $400 computer, $500 computer is gonna be less powerful than a $700 phone. So just get a $700 phone, skip the computer, upgrade your phone every two or three years, and there you go. Okay, this is just a rant that I had. Maybe I should do these as podcasts, I don't know. But I wanted to address the I'm an Apple fanboy thing because clearly I'm not. And I wanted to address the fact that Xiaomi isn't the only company that's fucking tablet users over by restricting their mobile computers. Apple's doing it too. Peace.